Welcome to Common Ground on Blue London Radio with me, Patton. It's the Labyrinth Record special. Really gas to have Nick Castle here with me. Standard crack. I'll do an intro mix, a bit of a chat, then back to back.
Right then, welcome to Common Ground on Blue Plunge and Radio. This is me, Patton. We've got Nick Castle. Welcome, Nick. Easy, Dan. Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming down. So, yeah, Common Ground, uh, a labyrinth special uh, to celebrate my upcoming EP on, on the label. So, yeah, thanks for having me on the label, Nick. Um, we'll have a bit of a chat about about Labyrinth, about the event side, about the label, of course about Nick Castle as a DJ uh, and yeah maybe we can spend a bit of time talking about the EP and yeah I don't want to be kind of gloating It's the most important part yeah. Dan, come on. <laughs> I don't want to be gloating too much but yeah this is the, the premise of this show right, I'm really excited to have my first release out as pattern with, with, with Labyrinth and um, yeah the tracks mean a lot to me and it was a, a great collaboration so shout out to Joy Tyson for that as well but yeah may, maybe Nick we, we'll start with yeah, I'd start with you. You, you as, a, as, a, as a DJ and, and the kind of you know you as your, the sound that you like to present as you play and, and how that's intertwined with with what you've done with, with the history of Labyrinth. I'd be really interested to to hear a bit about that story. Yeah, so I guess I've been uh, well, I've been the resident for Labyrinth since we we launched five years ago. I played at every event, bar like one or two that I think were other showcases like Lights Last Night of Earth or like labels that I haven't released on, yeah. and. Um, yeah, I love it. Like, I'm, I'm so lucky. We we have a really engaged audience at our events. And like some of the, a lot of the events, you've got people coming down super early. They're there for the music, and it's a really amazing environment to be able to play stuff that I like. Uh, the outside of Labyrinth, I don't know how you know, like whether you you know, there are not that many promoters in London pushing that sound. So I'm very lucky to to be able to present my music there. The stuff I like to play generally are like. I, I really don't like to like pigeonhole it into one thing and I'd really like to think of it as being as capable on a lineup with Gerd Jansen as it would be um, with, I don't know, some Afro house DJs or some yeah. DJs from the afterlife world. So I'd like to think of myself as relatively versatile uh, and it's got busier and busier. To fix, I think I'm playing like, you know, once every other weekend now yeah. in June, in May and June, I think it's almost every weekend. Yeah. So it's good. I'm enjoying it a lot. And in terms of outside of Labyrinth, where you've seen yourself play at the moment, what things have you got to talk about of, of any other gigs that you want to you know yeah, yeah, yeah. about? Um, I have been playing at this club called Beat quite a lot in Marlborough, that, that well. you've played there. Yeah, yeah. That I have to say, I think, is one of the best small clubs I've played at in London. Yeah, I agree with that. So, respect to Sam and the team there. That's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've been playing some vinyl at Brilliant Corners. As you know, I love my vinyl. Yeah, the listening parties there. Yeah, yeah, so I've been doing some, uh, some sort of like down-tempo Sunday sessions, which nice. has been wicked. Um, and then there's something potentially coming up that I can't talk about yet, which if it happens will be a complete game changer. Nice. So I'm praying that that is it's going to come in. Um, we've just been booked for a Nebula gig on the 6th of May. Yep. And they seem to be building a really nice community yeah. around what they're doing. So I'm looking forward to that one. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's really picking up, which has been great. Brilliant. That's good to hear, mate. And so um, tell us a bit. So the, the Labyrinth events has went from, from, from strength to strength. I know I've followed it for years and I've been one of the, the ones getting down early doors to, to see you play. So with your USBs. With the USBs <laughs> <what happened>. sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. And then there. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to maybe get a bit of a, you know, the, the tangent on a bit of the history on the, 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 the label and um, what, what the vision for that was originally and how you've been working with Ollie to, to build that out. Yeah, so the label uh, was a result of the events business. I heard a track, we did a running back showcase, I think it was Feb 4th, 2019, with Ger Jansen, uh, Crystal Clear, Pianol, and Fort Romeo and myself. And I heard a tune when Pianol and Fort Romeo were playing back to back. And I was like, and somebody got a video of it, and I was like, what is that tune? It was an edit of a, an Aphex Twin track. And it had a, I think it had a sample from Bicep Glue that yeah. was really mild, but it, it could obviously never be released because of that. And I hunted the track. I was like, I've got to get the tune. So I found the tune and it was this guy called Cedric Sheva in France. And it turned out that Cedric had loads of music, like really quite good music. And he didn't have a label. And I started thinking, and actually it was really during COVID as well, when I was listening to a lot of music, yep. I started thinking, well, hang on, like this guy's a great musician. He's putting out good music. Why are there no labels who like want to back an artist like this? So I was like, fuck it. Let's just launch Labyrinth Records and we'll do it ourselves. Brilliant. And we started with a couple of releases from Cedric. Uh, then it was you know, tour de Velo, wasn't it? Though? Yeah, we had the tour de Velo release. I, I tried really hard to get the uh, the Aphex Twin uh, and Bicep edit uh, approved, but Warp Records and Ninja Tune weren't having that. Yeah, so I, can imagine, I can imagine that. <laughs> surprisingly, that was that was a short-lived couple of emails. Um, and then it's it's grown from there. And what's can I just say? Who, who does the artwork on, on that? Because I remember that tour de Velo oh, yeah. EP. That artwork's absolutely beautiful. Like I really like that. So. Thanks, pretty appreciate. It. That was a guy called Fred Trevor, who's a brilliant designer. Yeah. And we've tried, you'll see, actually this year will change a bit, but 
we use a variety of designers. Uh, shout out to Charlie Straw, Hamish, um, Hugh Jardine, and Fred Trevor. Who all and we we try and mix it up for each release. Um, yeah, and and then since since then it's been really nice. A lot I think a lot of people just like yourself. Uh, and other people in the scene within London who come to our events and we know are really talented up and coming producers, we've started to get more and more demos from them. And I feel like we're at a point now where we're, we're like building up quite a nice roster of UK based artists mm -hmm. who are producing a certain sound of music. And we do, we obviously, we want to work with overseas artists as well, but like Ollie and me really love UK music. Yeah. And your stuff actually, that's got a bit more of that breaksy and bassy element than maybe some of the deep house stuff is a sound that we really like and we want to push. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, so maybe just to, in the background, we've got a track of mine and with Joy Tyson. This is in my arms. We'll let it play out after the after the chat. But yeah, this is some of the the breaksy stuff um, in my sort of space. I play kind of yeah break, Steve House, some of the melodic house and techno, a bit of indie dance stuff as well. But this uh, putting this together in in that kind of breaksy sort of. You know, the, the breaks aspect for me was was really kind of you know, tugged at me in a way of kind of some kind of long and nostalgia when I was making it and mm. um, yeah I'm really glad it resonated with, with you and um, yeah shout out to some of the artists that you've had on board as well because the kind of UK based ones you've had you know hard Antoine come on and Antoine's doing amazing right now it's really exciting to see him you work with Labyrinth um, and kind of continue to grow with that and I've had Henry Bergman do a remix on, on on his as well and any other artists you want to kind of shout out that's been on the label or anything you can talk about upcoming uh, we We've got a release coming out, like another EP. Well, we actually just had an, a release with Stephen Weston. Stephen Weston, yeah. That was a beautiful remix that he he put out, and he's done some great stuff on Anjuna D. Yeah. We've got a release this summer with Boys BKKO again, um, who, yeah. as, as you know, is a very, very talented Japanese artist. And we are, we're really excited about that. We think, you know, like, it takes, I feel like as a label, it takes, unless you get a really big hit early doors, it takes a lot of trust and time to build up that loyalty with your mm. fan base. But, and we feel that track could be like maybe yours as well, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but that tune, like we think really could get some traction this summer. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. Uh, there's another artist who I know we spoke about recently, Sahar, who I think you met Fabri the yeah, other day. I've met, I've met Levi, um, I met Levi at Fool actually for the arm trick night. We bumped into each other oh, on yeah. the way there and uh, yeah, helped him, help, helped him navigate the London transport system to get at the Fool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just bonded straight away. A couple of Northeastern lads um, sharing tunes immediately. Uh, yeah, we're in, we're in discussions actually on, on doing something together as well. So and like, I know when Fabric on Sunday when he played his stuff for the Labyrinth, yeah, yeah. mate, it's huge. Like that, yeah, is, yeah. that is a really well, big song. So how's, so how's so huge? Like I'm when really... you do that collab sent over, we'd like to we'd yeah. like to be first here on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. Oh, highest bidder, mate, highest bidder. <laughs> <laughs> um, now we're uh, no yeah, shout out to Sahar. So I say he's, he, he really um, the way he uses his vocals and tracks is it's something I've managed to get get out my head a little bit on where. You know, anyone who, who's in, in the studio and uses vocals will, will be lying if they say they, they went in the head a bit about whether they should do it or not. And uh, he was just like, go on, lad, just just, just do it. And the, the outcome of that is a, is a track I'm really proud of, which I've, I've uh, I played on the last Blue Show, actually, and it's getting some really good feedback. So I'm really grateful for kind of Sahar being just a, a wicked guy, but also uh, a wicked producer and a bit of an inspiration in that sense. So, yeah, it's exciting to see him come on Labyrinth as well. Yeah, yeah. And look, I think uh, there aren't that many labels in the UK who are, who are releasing this sort of music. Yeah. Most of them, I think, generally, well, breaks less so, but more for that housey, melodic yep. house. A lot of them are in, in sort of Germany, I guess, and France, particularly Germany. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we do want to develop a little roster and niche for doing that. Yeah, and there's a big audience for it in London, we feel. No, I, I agree. And I think there's, um, you know, if you talk about that international comparisons, I always talk a lot in, you know, when, when we're at these events in the green room, one of my, I think everyone knows me kind of across the scene. And whilst I'm kind of, you know, I'm associated very much with, 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 with Fabric, I try to make it clear that we all work, should work together on nurturing the UK scene and making it that, you know, the, the, the Germans have, have and you know, quite so the music's been amazing, but they seem to have had a lot more of a presence in the type of music that we like. And I think the talent that we've got in the UK needs to be nurtured in the right way and us working together to complement each other and collaborate with each other can, can really make the UK the real export opportunity on this sort of stuff. That's kind of my ethos is around all of this so it's cool to see Labyrinth sharing that. I couldn't agree more. I think it will take a lot of work. Yeah. And yeah. We're, we're you know you've got Afterlife Innovations and Kind of Music here of doing course, a good job course, but but course. they've also been around for you know I think Innovisions is 
definitely over a decade old, oh, 100 yeah, degrees yeah, in. So, yeah, I think the UK, and by the way, we're not comparing ourselves to any of those labels. No, we're but it's, it's cool to have a North Star, isn't it, to where we where Of we course, with all these things, yeah, yeah, we've got a dream, right? Exactly. And I agree on that. The more we can collaborate, and yeah, let's do a, let's do a release with you in Sahar. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, we, we should be collaborating and pushing the music as much as we can. Um, because there's such a rich variety of it coming out of this country. Yeah, no, I'm, um, it's it's exciting. I mean, so one of the releases there, this is, as I say, my first release, so thanks for uh, putting the faith in me with, with, with this EP, Nick and, and Ollie. Um, so yeah, this is another spin. We've got three tracks that I've worked on in the kind of breaksy spirit with, uh, with with Joy Tyson, an amazing, amazing, amazing vocal artist based in Berlin. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for, we've got the we've got a launch party, haven't we, on the next Friday, the 24th of March. We've got a launch party next yeah. Friday. Dan and me are going to be playing all night long, uh, which is actually becoming a bit of a, a bit of a thing. <laughs> We've done it three times. This is the hat. I think. What was it? We've done it for. We did it at Pekamol yes, Duo for Knox. It's not the fourth time because I jumped on at E1 that time, wasn't it? So ah, that, was, that was that was unofficial. That was unofficial, but yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we, we yeah, I was definitely it. off duty that one. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> that was my birthday weekend, so I was uh, enjoying myself this year. <laughs> <laughs> and we're playing a new a new club in uh, Shoreditch called Twenty Five Pool Street. Yeah. Which is a very very fun sexy spot. It uh, is cool actually. I've yeah. So we're but great location. We're playing I think ten till three thirty. You tell me, mate. I'm, I, I jump on it. You've got to check the you, you, you've just got to drag. <laughs> as soon as I'm on the decks, you've got to drag me off. Yeah. When, the, when the, the doorman will be asking me to stop playing, but I'll uh, <laughs> ten to three thirty. And okay, you can, cool. for anyone who's thinking about coming, we'd love to see you there. You can get a standard ticket to the event, seven fifty. Or you can pay £20 and get a ticket to the event and pre-ordered Vans vinyl. Yeah. And we're going to be pressing uh, vinyl that we hope to have ready for the summer. And anyone who press, who sorry buys that ticket, obviously you're, you're first in the pre-order line. So, yeah. and, uh, and anyone who buys the ticket and the uh, vinyl, I'll sign all the, all the vinyls for them as well. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Um, big pool. <laughs> why not? Why not? Uh, so yeah, I mean, let's chat a bit about the, about the EP. So we've got three mm. tracks. One, one's In My Arms, which as I say is playing in, in, in the background. Um, I, I made this track uh, so it was quite a few years ago now when I, when I, when I wrote it, but it, it, to me it was I was going through a bit of a, a tough time um, myself and also some friends, a close friend of mine was, and it was quite a, an emotional, like longing feeling in, in, in the track. Um, and maybe just in terms of the process, I wrote, wrote all the tracks originally and then we spoke to Joy about a collaboration and the vocals that Joy had, and I had developed um, and like the magic that she had created on the tracks she really resonated with like the kind of emotion and, and the feeling of, of, of each track so I was kind of really yeah I'm just super grateful to be working with Joy because I think she's made what's been like you know tracks into songs do you know what I mean like to give them a lot more of a, yeah. of a meaning um we've got Nightlights I think I'll try and get get through them in in, in the show uh Nightlights which I mean it, yeah, this kind of makes use of what's people's favourites on it, whether it's Nightlights or whether it's another spin. Personally, I feel like Nightlights is one of my favourites. It's a it's a really kind of courageous battle cry of like bringing uh, bringing kind of positive uh, light into into kind of a dark situation. Um, and yeah, we've got another spin which is um, kind of you know essentially going through challenges in love, but giving it another go and and uh, and kind of reaping the rewards for that. So it's a for me it's a really um, Almost like you know you got like reading an old journal or something like that, and you get that kind of nostalgic feeling. Not just because of the breaks, it's a nostalgic feeling for me, but it just really—it's uh, kind of a journal of kind of emotional circumstances that I've had, or friends have had, or family have had, and it's kind of really uh, therapeutic for me in a way to produce music to, to get it out, and then to have joy resonate on it more, and just yeah, create a. Like I'll always have this emotional timestamp listening back to these tracks, so it's great to have the opportunity to share it on Labyrinth. So thanks for that, Nick. Um, and yeah, I'm really interested to hear what what your take on it was when you first heard them, and and, and then the kind of updates with Joy. And yeah, and I suppose from from a listener's perspective, I'd be love to get messages or whatever when people hear the tracks properly, just to see what what they felt listening to the tracks and if any of that resonated with them. Yeah, well, don't thank us. It's a pleasure to put the music out. Cheers, mate. Thank you for trusting us with it. Um, I remember you, fir you first sent us a group of tracks and we thought they were good. And then I think you worked and you made some edits to these ones. I remember getting on a Zoom with you and I was like, damn, this sounds so much tighter. Like, yeah. this is really, really nice. Congrats. So I think you had, you, you had obviously, you had the bass, 
oh, sorry, the basics of the track and the break already pretty locked. Mm. Joy, I think, has obviously, and we're excited because this is our first release with vocals, with yep. like prevalent vocals oh, in it. Yep. We've had vocals that are like small, sad, like libby sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, but no, no, like actual, actual vocals and lyrics on it. So, I, and I think with all music, it adds another layer of emotion and dimension to the track. And it's just like you know when you're on the dance floor and you, you hear a vocal and a break and yeah. like uh, it just makes you feel something. It makes you feel something that I think just a kick drum and your standard percussion just can't do. Yeah. So that was I think working with Joy's been like well I, I don't say working with her because I didn't do it but for you to get her involved and then make the tracks come out like her have has been has been really really special. So shout out to Joy too. We're yeah, gutted huge, she's huge. not going to be with us next Friday. Yeah, huge huge thank you to Joy. I I, I feel like as I said the, the way it's. The way her contribution has evolved, what has been, you know, electronic music tracks to real musical songs is, uh, is, is to me, I'm it's just picked it on another level. So I'm so grateful for that. And I would say that I think you, you've done a really good job with this release of, uh, I think some artists have taken quite a lot of time to work out what their style is, mm. right? And to like develop a like musical identity. And there are some artists who've chopped and changed over the years. I fit, knowing what you like and the sort of stuff that I know you play and listen to, I think you've done a really good job of Thanks. like putting these tracks out with an identity to them that's not like everything else you're listening. Yeah. So kudos to you on that. Cheers, mate. And you should you keep that going with your future releases as well. Yeah, I mean, I've got, uh, I definitely feel, you know, I said before, and, and anyone who's heard me play, I even looking at these common ground shows, there's such a like, wide variety of, of stuff that I play. And to be honest, I haven't showcased as much of the break stuff in some common ground shows, but that I would play when I'm in, in say, Fabric or whatever. So I've got quite a, Quite a bit of my break stuff, some IDs in, 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 in the USBs ready to play today, so we might get, get to some of those as well in that breaky space. So, um, but yeah, thanks thanks a lot for coming down, Nick. I think we can get into doing a, a back to back now. Um, so, yeah, just a, a, another few plugs. And so, um, yeah, I've got a Love and Chaos, a new event that we're putting out in Newcastle. We've got Moritz and me playing back to back. We've got Megan Leo. Uh, come, so from Sutherland, who lives in London, but coming back up to Newcastle at the World Headquarters to play with us. Uh, we've got Ali and Lila going back to back uh, to open us up. Uh, so that's on the, the Easter Thursday, 6th of April. Really excited to launch Love and Chaos up in Newcastle. Uh, on the 21st of April, I'm playing uh, Big Fabric Presents in the layer at Brixton. So really can't wait for that. And then, of course, we've got the 24th of March. So, um, yeah, Patton and Nick Castle. Friday. Yeah, next Friday, Patton and Nick Castle back to back all night long at 25 Paul Street. So, yes, yeah, um, do the right thing. Buy the vinyl as well. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know it's worth while. Um, but we'll give you, we'll give you a bit of a showcase. We'll let this, uh, this track play out. So this is in my arms, pattern featuring Joy Tyson, and then we'll go into a back to back. So thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks, Dan.
reason why it defies reason Let it be silly season, darling All year around
set, still dreaming about it. Still driving blind, but reach the mountains. And Lord knows, the less you know, the better. Stay close, so we could shade this weather. The less you know now.
Plug. This is forthcoming on Labyrinth Re- Re- Records. Big up, Saha. Alkaline on my mind to remedy this acid line.
fresh AD from me. So this is Night Lights, pattern featuring Joy Tyson, forthcoming on Labyrinth Records.
That last one was Bonobo Eyes Down Sasha Remix, and this is another new pattern I do.
Shout out Josh Ludlow on the ID. This is me and Joy Tyson, another spin forthcoming on Labyrinth Records. <laughs> 